Well, we actually use optical cables by Corning to connect all of our Mac Pros in the building. We've created what we call a Thunderbolt network between all of our core editing machines, and we actually do a lot of content management and delivery. So we have uh, several Pegasus R8 Thunderbolt RAID units, about 120 terabytes when you add it all up, and we've daisy-chained the, daisy chained them together to achieve um, incredibly fast storage. And because of the nature of the content on those drives, we wanted to secure them in our data center. And our edit bays are quite a ways away, about 175 feet. So we've purchased several of the Thunderbolt optical cables by Corning, and we actually tie them all together and are able to do full multi-camera 4K video editing from that. So it's been a blessing to have that. It's really helped us in our editing achievements. Well, I have the uh, Thunderbolt adapter cable, the, the 10 meter fiber cable, uh, and I came to see whether or not you guys had USB 3, and you do, which is now going to offer even more flexibility for me to be able to take some of those products that we have from the legacy side, move them into another room that make too much noise, and have them out of our way and not clutter up the workspace also. It is just nice to know that there's products out there now that are having the ability to get us away from cluttered desktops and workspaces and patches and everything right there where we, we use the product in a rack. So everything goes into a rack, everything's cabled nicely so that when it comes time to fix things too, it's easy to be able to find it rather than, okay, which plug am I unplugging out of the back of the computer and all the rest of it to go through that. So that's why we like that for sure because it made it simple for us to get to our drives without having them all in the workspace. I really like the fact that you guys use the top speed, you can bend the cords, cables, and you can pretty much go any length possible and you still got great quality. It's, I, that for me is the main feature. I, I want my cords to be long but and reach where I need it to go. I'm across the house, all over the place. Well, I have a, a, a data set, uh, a hard drive on my desk that's pretty big, uh, local storage, active storage, but um, what I wanted to do actually is we have a server room about 100 feet away and I wanted super high speed active backup in that storage server room. And uh, you know, I could think about you know LAN networking cables, but I love the idea of Thunderbolt all the way there, super high speed, fast, and then I can have an active backup that will, um, I mean, I won't be limited by speed. So I know that pretty much if I'm creating a lot of data any given day, that stuff is actively going over into the storage uh, on the, in the server room. So. It'd be great if I had them. Right now I use probably five, six cables joining them together. With these guys, it's great. I, I probably don't have to break as many laptop screens climbing in and out of trucks to diagnose equipments. Uh, with this, I could probably get more power from a desktop, plug it in, run the cable into the truck, and then when we're done, just coil it back up, eh? I know right now where I use where so many different cables, they keep coming unhooked. If I could get one, they could get me a 100-foot cable, all in one piece. Oh, dude, that, you don't have to check your connections. You check one end, the other. There you go, eh? Beautiful. It's a beauty. There's a lot of possibilities with using it. Um, one thing I was telling you about would be like for guitar players or other musicians for their wireless systems to use those cords instead so they can get a great quality. And uh, I like it that I can be able to take my hard drives and put them even further away. Well, first, these are going to be excellent because some of those disk arrays are really loud and it's nice not to have it right next to your ear and even if they're quiet it's a really nice for a desktop space and a footprint to get it out of the way I mean I had no idea that you could go like 60 feet on a Thunderbolt cable 60 meters oh my god even well I can't go 60 meters I'll fall off the roof but yeah so yeah I definitely want these cables well, we have a uh, very vast studio situation at the university where we have multiple edit suites with 4K monitors. We have um, lots of students using RAID drives, USB 3 and Thunderbolt, and they don't actually have access to the server room where the computers are. So all these rooms are placed all around the university, and having the uh, cables would really enable us to plug in all of their devices and drives directly and without having to access the really expensive gear that we don't want them to break. <laughs> Corning cables are really good for our users because we get to have our computers on a different location so that our control rooms can be more quiet and also you know we can get less heat because all computers can be in a separate location almost remote to a certain extent and also because of the high bandwidth we can have our RAID drives and our displays all routed through these Corning cables. So I'm in the business of setting up radio studios in shortwave uh, facilities. The problem with shortwave radio is that there's a lot of RF going on in the air. 
uh, next to the studio. Yeah. So any kind of connectivity, even a, a regular typical monster USB cable, yeah. um, will cause me a lot of RF and a lot of degradation of the signal in my USB cables. I've been looking for technology that converted uh, copper into fiber okay. at a reasonable price. Um, so I wouldn't have to worry about any of this. Working in a quiet studio, I need to have my um, computer in a hush box, you know, several feet away from the desk, and normal USB 3 cables don't quite go the distance reliably, so I need a reliable solution that can go the distance so I can plug in USB flash drives and whatnot into my computer without having to walk over to the computer 15 feet away. Life became a lot happier when, you know, Thunderbolt cables arrived. Okay. You know, before that, uh, you know, as you probably know, when we do recording studios, the idea is that we put the, you know, computer, you know, the Mac, either the old Macs or the new trash cans into a machine room. And then we also put all the Avid interfaces for my Pro Tool systems. You know, musicians don't like any noise in the control room. So we're trying to keep a, a really noise, you know, low noise floor. So uh, in the past, we had, you know, many issues with uh, using extender you know, through CAD 5s or CAD 6 or, you know, whatever. And, uh, and you know, when the new computers came out and Thunderbolt came out, it's just one little cable between the computer and the actual, you know, uh, monitor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then we plugged in the monitor, you know, the Apple, you know, the Apple keyboard into the monitor. And then, you know, we're set, you know. The thing I find really interesting about this whole thing is the idea of being able to move just tremendous amounts of data over really long lengths, where it allows us, you know, for instance, with audio engineering applications, where we can take very loud, you know, capacious drives and get them out of the critical monitoring environments of the mixing room and such. Uh, at the same time, have the kind of bandwidth that we need in order to, you know, power everything. So that's what gets me excited. Well, I think the the most important part, because in my work, especially when editing, um, we use a lot of external hard drives. Because you know your computer, you don't want to store everything on your computer with big video files. So we have a ton of external hard drives, and oftentimes it becomes such a clutter because you have to keep it so close to your workstation. So this cable really allows us to have a designated storage area and be able to be, have it be far out of reach. Ah, uh, yeah, those cables would be very useful for me because um, in where I do doing post production and stuff like that, you want to create an environment that's as quiet and comfortable to work in as possible. And when you have hard drives that are constantly kicking on their fans and making noise, Thunderbolt is great to be able to take uh, advantage of the fast transfer speeds. But currently, most of the consumer outlets don't have Thunderbolt cables that are longer than maybe a meter or two. So to be able to have something that you guys offer that is, you know, 15, 30 meters long that I can put that in an entirely separate part of the edit bay in a different room entirely is monumental.